So guys, let's talk about the root of the lungs. Well, when you look at the root of the lung, the root of the lung is basically about the, the structure which are present in the hilum of the lung and also about the pulmonary ligament which is extending below the root of the lung which is an anatomical free space uh, utilized by the pulmonary uh, arteries in the venous return here. So, let us see the difference between the right root of the lung and left root of the lung. Now, in the right root of lung, let us say this is the right root of the lung along with its pulmonary ligament and here is the left root of the lung. Now, as we said, these roots of lung, these extensions, this extension of visceral, visceral pleura below the hilum of lung, these are called as pulmonary ligaments. These are pulmonary ligaments. And as we said, these pulmonary ligaments are the anatomical dead space, which can be utilized by the vessels present in the hilum. So, when there is increased venous return, so they can be utilized by this pulmonary ligament. The structure which is present above the right root of lung is the arch of azygous vein. Azygous vein is on the right side. We know that azygous vein, azygous vein drains into superior vena cava. So that arch of azygous vein is seen above the root of the lung, right root of the lung. And an important structure present above the left root of the lung is the arch of iota. Arch of iota. So this is one important relation to remember that is the arch of azygous, that is arch of azygous vein and here is the arch of iota. And see because these such an important blood vessels are passing above the root of the lung so that makes the relation inside the root of the lung very important especially those structures which are closest to these. So, if, a, if a any blood vessel or anything is present close to the arch of iota, that anatomical relation is, is very important. Now, we generally we read about the structures present anteriorly, posteriorly, superiorly, inferiorly, everywhere uh, in the root. But what we need to mainly focus on are the structures which are present highest in the right root of lung and so in the left root of lung as well. Now, to how to go about it guys? Trachea, we know that trachea divides into the two principal bronchus, the right and the left principal bronchus. And we know that right principal bronchus is way shorter than the left. In fact, the right principal bronchus is shorter, wider and more vertical also. That is why the chances of infection in the right lung are more common. So, because the right uh, bronchus is shorter, so you will not see the right bronchus entering into the lung. You will see that the next division, the next generation of the right bronchus entering into the root of the lung here. And that is called as ep arterial bronchus and hyp arterial bronchus because it is present above the pulmonary artery and below the pulmonary artery. So, what I am saying is when you look at the right root of the lung, you will be looking at this pulmonary artery. I am drawing the pulmonary artery with the blue color here, that is pulmonary artery. And this above and below the pulmonary artery, we have these bronchus. So, we have a bronchus above. We got this bronchus below. So, this is the pulmonary artery here. That is the pulmonary artery. And as you can see, this bronchus here is called as a ep arterial bronchus above the artery. So, we call it ep arterial bronchus and mind it, it's bronchus, not bronchial, it's bronchus. And below the pulmonary artery, it is hyp arterial bronchus. So, it's ep arterial and hyp arterial bronchus above the pulmonary artery and below the pulmonary artery. Above and below the pulmonary artery. Okay. Then, the most anterior and the most inferior structure in the whether it is right or the left root of lung is going to be the pulmonary veins. The pulmonary veins, the one which are carrying the oxygenated blood, the pulmonary veins are the most anteriorly and most inferiorly also in the root of lung. So clearly, apartheal bronchus on the right side, it's the apartheal bronchus which is closest to the arch of azygous, and that is an important question to remember that what is the highest structure in the root of lung. So, on the right side, it is F arterial bronchus, F arterial bronchus. Different story on the left side. On the left side, well, we, as we said, we have a long principal bronchus. So on the left side, you will be see, you will be looking at this pulmonary artery as the highest structure here. The left principal bronchus is seen directly going inside. So, there is no further division. We can, in the root of the lung itself, I can see the, the principal bronchus of the left side. And once again, most anteriorly and inferiorly, it will be pulmonary veins. So, this time, the highest structure is going to be the 
pulmonary artery the pulmonary artery that is an again an important question the pulmonary artery is the highest structure in the left root of lung which is in close relation to the arch of aorta the remaining structure if i label it for you that is the this is the left principal bronchus so we got the left principal bronchus and then we have these left pulmonary veins these are the pulmonary veins to be seen so this is how the structures are organized in the right and the left root of the lung there are other minor structures also there like bronchial arteries there we have one right bronchial artery but we have two left bronchial arteries they are also inside some lymphatics you know some plexus no plexus will be seen but what is important here to remember that what are the major structures like artery the main artery and the bronchus and the veins how they are organized inside the hilum and as i said the structure which are above the hilum of the lung so this is about the root of the lung